Hey, how y'all doing? This is Cooking with Dave once again. I'm Dave. I am the world's greatest chef. I know that I am because it says so right here on my apron. Anyway, today I'm making something for somebody. I had a couple people ask me if I'd make some Mexican food, some traditional Mexican food. I said, sure. Why not do some guacamole and some chicken quesadillas? So we're going to do some fried chicken quesadillas. I fried me some breasts. I took some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Just fry them up Dave style. Y'all know how to fry chicken Dave style. Go watch fried chicken video and you'll know if you don't. It's good stuff. We're going to cut them up, cube them up, put them in a tortilla shell, some cheese, some onions, a little pepper, a little salt, and then we're going to top it with some guacamole. It's going to be very, very good. A little tomatoes. I'm going to show you how to put it together. Okay, first thing we've got to do, uh, we'll just make our guacamole. So the first thing we make guacamole is we gotta clean out our guacamole, gotta clean out our avocado. So we just take an avocado, cut that bad boy in half. Well, it looks much better. Okay, that's the way our avocado ought to look. Just clean out the inside out of the peel in here. Let's put that down into our bowl. You'll see how I did that? Just want to scrape that out. I'm peeling. And just put it into the bowl. Like so. Well, after all that, I only had one avocado that was kind of ripe. It wasn't overripe. The other two were just too ripe. This one here is almost too ripe. I don't know. I'm going to go for it. We'll use this one here. Make a little guacamole. We don't need a whole lot of guacamole for our quesadillas, so it should be all right. So we just mash the avocado, peel it, uh, get rid of the pit. And then just mash them up with a fork best you can. Then we'll start adding our stuff. What we do is just take a little bit of green onion and throw it on there. I'm going to take a little bit of red onion. Just chop and minced up red onion. Throw it in just a little bit of flavor. Mix that up in there. Okay. Then we're going to take just some salt, maybe a pinch, maybe two, pinch two of salt. Mix it up in there. And then some black pepper. And you, you'll do this to taste. Just do whatever you think tastes good. Black pepper, salt, onion, a little red onion, maybe a little chili peppers. Whatever you feel like you want to put in there, you can put in there for your guacamole. And after I get it mixed up with that, now I'll take a little bit of lime juice, a little lemon juice, something a little citrus in it, and just boom, just enough to give a little flavor. And that is guacamole. Wish I had a little more avocados. I'd have liked to have more guacamole than that. But it'll be okay. All right. All right. We are cooking chicken quesadillas. What I'm going to do is just put a little butter on my baking dish. Take whatever baking dish that you have. You can put it in the oven. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 350. Spray your pan with something, put some oil on it, something so your tortilla won't stick. And put a couple down there on your pan, like that. Okay. Then, we'll just take some cheese, just put a little bit of cheese right in the middle. Kind of make it go around. Try to keep it off the pan if you can, but just a thin layer of cheese. Chicken on there. You come back with your chicken, some fried chicken that I just cut all up to pieces. Some regular old Dave fried chicken. And we want to spread this out and make a thin layer of it also, as thin as possible, you know, we'll be all over. Now if you want to, you can stir fry your chicken with some onions and some vegetables and some things and get some flavors up and in there wrong with that. Now I'm gonna take this little bit of bacon that I cook that I made kind of crispy and then I crumble it all up in little bits. 
Just put some bacon throughout my quesadilla. I'm going to take some red onion. I put some red onion. I just chopped up nice and little bits. Then I'll put some green onions. Now you put whatever you want on your quesadilla. If you like it, put it on there. You want to put some bell peppers, green bell peppers, red bell peppers, whatever you like, cayenne peppers, jalapeno. If you like it, stick it on this thing. I like onions. I like the green onions, red onions. I like the cheese and the bacon and the chicken. This is what I like. So that's what I put on is what I like. Then I take some fresh tomatoes to just dice them up. Peeled them and diced them up nice and small. And I'm just going to put them right on top of that thing. Like that and mix them around. Try to make them the thin layer. This thing's getting a little bit thick. But that's alright because it's going to be good. Sure, a little guacamole dip. A little sour cream action. Maybe a salad. Now I come back put some more cheese on top of this side. To finish it off. We want to try to make this thing as flat as we can. Oh well, so much for being flat. That thing there, that's a case of death. And then we'll put one right on top of that. Bye. All right. And like I said, you can put whatever you like in your quesadilla, man. If you like it, I'm sure it will be good. Now I'm gonna put this in the oven, 350 degrees probably for about 15 20 minutes we'll take a look at it and see what it looks like all okay. right them in the oven for about 15 minutes just want to look underneath and make sure that they're brown they are a little brown action boom we're done and man these things are going to be one half again mm, it's hot Woo, it's hot And there we have it, chicken quesadillas. Okay, there we have our chicken quesadillas. It's gonna be wonderful. I'll serve them with a little of guacamole, maybe some sour cream. Oh, we'll dip these things in. Oh, they will be wonderful. Uh, Y'all go out and make yourself some uh, chicken quesadillas. Remember, this has been Cooking with Dave once again. I am the world's greatest chef. It says so right here on my apron. All right, y'all have a great day.